such a master in circle. And her uh, his, his answer for my question is the best topic would be something you already prepared for this particular person. Like you saw, saw her or his Facebook, they, he traveled he travel to somewhere so you talk to her or him about this. And the worst topic might be the gossip among the office that you never know the world has ears or not. Okay, and let's welcome Circle. This is the first time I probably will be quite gentle on the really? tabletop session because I found out that uh, this topic is actually kind of suck. <laughs> it's very hard to come up with something difficult. Not so, kind of so, yeah. So, for the rule of table topic, I will randomly pick up some victim on the stage. <laughs> you have to at least speak or reply my question. I will ask you a question. You will at least need to reply this question for a total one minute until you see the green card. And you shouldn't speak more than three minutes when you see the red card. You will have 30 seconds to wait, otherwise, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's not two and a half? Yeah. The typical. So you two change minutes your rule. Oh, it's two and a half. Two and a half minutes. My bad. So it's two minutes red card and 30 seconds leeway as well. All right. My first question. Would you prepare some topic in advance in case when you get into an elevator and meet your manager or your staff? Would you prepare particular topic topic for particular person in advance in case this awkward scenario? Embryo. <laughs> In your company, you are manager labor, label or manager. manager. Okay, that would be perfect. Would you prepare some topic for particular step? Oh, what would you usually check with them? Okay, so I don't need to answer. Or your manager. Vanessa. <laughs> and if you don't know what to say, sing about Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend you are speaking to her. Um, first, I have to say I didn't work in a few. I, there's only one company that I work need to take the elevator. <laughs> so, 
I don't have much experience, <laughs> but I want to share like for the colleagues, like Nikki and I actually we only work together for one month, mm -hmm. and but because I'm not, we are not like a manager or staff. We are mm -hmm. at the same like same level, so I think it's better that you talk to your colleague in the elevator about some uh, something that is not related to the job. Because you already have a lot of nerv nervousness and a lot of like um, something that you want to face in the job. So in the elevator, maybe it's a time that you can, you know, slightly escape from your job. Mm -hmm. So usually, maybe I'll talk about like all oh, your clothes looks very nice. <laughs> you had your hair cut, mm -hmm. or um, I saw your Facebook and you went to some place yesterday. And how was that restaurant? Or how was your trip last month? So I think something that reminds her what she has done and reminds her of the happiness would be a better topic, and maybe it will give her some energy to get in, get back to her job later on. Thank you. All right, the most difficult question of the night. <laughs> oh Listen God. carefully. <laughs> What scenario will lead you to avoid this very elevator and took and take the next one? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of situation will make you give up the current elevator and take the next one? For example, if I am already in there, you take the next one. All right. Let's welcome Yo Yo! I think we met this situation a lot, right? <laughs> because if there are already nine people in the elevator, <laughs> do you want to go in and hear the sound? <laughs> anything, something like that? No, of course, so I will avoid to enter that one. Yeah. <laughs> Any question? <laughs> maybe this was the others. Or maybe my because I I I live in a situation that I don't have to take the elevator. <laughs> if I have to avoid my boss or something, I would say, Oh, I will try to pretend I have something dropped outside. <laughs> I was like, oh sorry, but I had to grab it. Hey, go first, go first. And I'm just looking for something. Yeah. Skip this one. And what else? I think it is just these two. Other situation like I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. This one is really difficult. I say that this is the most difficult because one. One sentence can <laughs> yeah, so we need to come up with something to say, right? right? Save the best for you. <laughs> Next, imagine you are in a crowded, full people elevator. Mm -hmm. Boom, suddenly it black out and yeah. stuck. And coincidentally, no one in this elevator have a goddamn cell phone. What would you do? You are in a mole function. Crowded elevator, no one has cell phone. What would you do? What kind of uh, content you will, what, what kind of say, what would you say to comfort people or something? Jason. <laughs> I buy you some time. Let's think. <laughs> This is the second most difficult question. <laughs> uh, okay, what if I do? What will I do if I stuck in the blackout elevators uh, with many, many people? Okay, let me imagine there are many, many people. I couldn't see their face. So, uh, maybe I could say, uh, calm down, people. Can we sing a song? Protos, <laughs> But if no one give me the look, I am of course they, they, they cannot look at me in a in a blackout. Uh, anyway, anyway, um, anyway, I will try my best to deliver some jokes. Yeah, 
I think that Joe is a human is the best way to calm down the people. Um, such as, um, what kind of a Joe would I give? I don't know. <laughs> uh, because I believe I'm the one who is completely freaking out. In the <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> So I think I can have one more. Would you consider the silence in the elevator is rather awkward? Would you prefer to remain silent or try your best to come up something to say? Would you consider silence in the elevator is rather worse? Would you prefer to remain silent or try your best to come up something to speak up? Mark. Enjoy your awkwardness. No notes for you, Mark. <laughs> Actually, in a company, I'm not a good guy. I'm always so tough. So anyone uh, beside with me always feel nervous because I always ask them what about the issue? Uh, do you can can you fix the, the issue uh, today? So most of the time, most of the time, a lot of people don't want to um, go with me. So uh, actually, I don't need to think about this, this kind of issue. <laughs> However, if I am uh, an, an, in an elevator, well, sometimes I don't. I actually don't talk to anybody. I just think about uh, the the some issue actually. Some, uh, I mean, the, the working working condition, or some about uh, some how to fix the issue, and uh, how can I improve the, the, the quality or improve the, the flow. So uh, normally I don't talk to anyone. So I don't think uh, this kind of situation is uh, equal. So let me um, table table topic. <laughs> <laughs> So I hope you all enjoy this uh, not very difficult elevator journey. I'm quite disappointed about myself. I didn't come up with this difficult. Yeah. What a shame. So yeah, I have to myself even. <laughs>